So you have a LG Smart TV, the Web OS. I'm gonna show you how to change the DNS server, okay? It's very, very simple. So first thing you gotta do is go into your settings, go ahead and grab your remote. And simply what you can do is just tap on the uh, settings or the gear icon right there, tap on that. And then you see all the icons on the right hand side there. What you wanna do is just go all the way down until you get to network right there. It's purple right there. Go ahead and click on okay. Give this a second. Okay, now from here, what you want to do is use your remote, move over to the right. Then we're going to go down to where it says Wi-Fi connection. Okay, go ahead and click on OK on your remote. And now you can see that I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi network, ITSH guest, with the check mark. Okay, so I know that I'm connected. Now I'm going to go ahead and go down to where it says advanced Wi-Fi settings. Click on OK on the remote. And now let me go down here. Now you can see you can change your DNS server, gateway, sub, subnet mask, and so on. Just go down to highlight edit, and then click on OK on the remote. And now the thing is, if yours is clicked on set automatically like it is right now, what you need to do is go ahead and click on OK so that it unchecks it. Okay, now what you can do is go down to DNS server right here, and then simply go ahead, once it's highlighted, go ahead and click on OK. And then from here, you can go ahead and change it. First thing you probably want to do is go down to uh, clear all. And you guys are probably here probably because you want to do the 8.8.8.8 uh, or 8.8.4.4. So just really, uh, just an example really fast. Let's go ahead and do uh, all four eight. So eight dot eight dot Okay, so here we go. So it's 8.8.8.8. .8 and then next thing you got to do is you have to go down or go over here where it says enter. So go ahead and click on OK to enter. Now you just have to go down. It's already highlighted. It says connect. Now I just go ahead and click on my, um, click on the OK button because connect is uh, already on there. And now that's pretty much it. Just tap on connect. And now we can see that it's going to stay on DNS 8.8.8.8. Um, .8 just go ahead and click the back button on your remote. And then we can see right here the DNS server is 8.8.8. .8 .8. Okay, pretty simple. Any issues or questions, just comment below, all right?